Hi everyone. Myself, Dr. Upad, President of uh, in Department of Radio Diagnosis in Grand Medical College and Sir JJ Group of Hospitals. I'm very thankful to my mentor, Dr. Nagendra Sir, uh, Assistant Professor of our department. Uh, today my topic is role of MRI in evaluation and staging of carcinoma rectum. Introduction. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in men and the second most con uh, common cancer in women in the world. Its prevalence is more in the developed countries than in developing countries. However, the mortality rate is lower in the developed countries due to increased screening, early diagnosis and improvement in staging of cancer. The prognosis of rectal cancer is related to tumor infiltration into the mesorectum and the mesorectal fascia, ab ability to achieve negative circumferential dissection margins. MRI is used in local staging of tumor and aids in deciding the further plan of management. Total mesorectal excision is the standard treatment of rectal cancer. However, the use of neoadjuvant chemotherapy in patients with locally advanced rectal cancers helps in better disease control. Aims and objectives. To evaluate the role of MRI with contrast in, in diagnosing the lesion and its extent, involvement of the perirectal areas, involvement of adjacent organs, nodal status, and finally the local staging, restaging, and recurrence. Materials and methods. Observational study was carried out in Department of Radio Diagnosis uh, at our institute. It was carried on 30 patients over a period of one year referred from the Department of Surgery. The scans were performed in uh, 3D MR Simmons machine using body coil. Inclusion criteria. The patients willing to participate in the study are included and the cases of all age groups. Exclusion criteria. The patients not willing to participate and having claustrophobia or any other contraindication related to MR. Age distribution. Uh, uh, dist according to the distribution of uh, according to age, less than 40 year old, only a percentage, 13 percent of uh, patients were diagnosed with rectal cancer. Uh, the most uh, common age group uh, with rectal cancer seems to be between 50 to 60 years. Common presenting symptoms. Common presenting symptoms are painless bleeding per rectum, streak of blood on stool, pain in abdomen with altered bowel habits, tenesmus, incomplete evacuation, spurious diarrhea. This is, however, seen in ulcerative type of lesions and pain with defecation due to involvement of anal sphincters, constitutional symptoms, anorexia, weight loss, and malaise. Distribution of patients according to symptoms. Uh, the majority of the patients, uh, every alternate patients are supposed to have the complaints of bleeding per rectum and painful defecation. Pain in abdomen, altered bowel habits are seen in a, a lesser percent of patients. Coming to the staging of tumor, TNM classification of the rectal cancer is used in the reporting pattern. MRI is less useful in differentiating T1 and T2 kind of lesions. Subclassification of the T3 category is determined on the basis of MR evaluation and is used in European guidelines for treatment recommendations. N category is uh, decided based on the number of nodes involved in the mesorectal fascia and the distant number of nodes involved. M category is uh, done based on the PET CT or CECT. Coming to the cases discussion. A 64-year-old male patient came with chief complaints of intermittent episodes of bleeding per rectum and pain in the perianal region with defecation since two years. There is involvement of the long segment for a length of approximately 6 cm encircling the wall. Thickening is seen in the involving the rectum. No mesorectal fascia or adjacent organ involvement is noted. The uh, circumferential margin, uh, resection margins is negative. There is no evidence of uh, extramural vascular invasion. No significant notes are there. Coming, so it is staged under T3B N0. A fifth, second case. A 55-year-old male patient came with chief complaints of bleeding per rectum since nine months. On colonoscopy, mass is felt in the rectum. MR image shows an ill-defined irregular circumferential wall thickening of upper and mid third of the rectum causing luminal narrowing. There is uh, involvement of the mesorectal fascia and but there are no significant mesorectal nodes so it is classified as T3D N2A. A 47-year-old male patient came with chief complaints of painless bleeding per rectum and incomplete evacuation of stools since six months. The patient a uh, lab result shows raised CEA levels. MR shows M irregular circumferential wall thickening of the upper and mid third of the rectum, causing luminal narrowing. There is uh, no involvement of uh, extramural vascular invasion. 
Mesorectal fascia, however, is involved and the nodes are seen in the 5 o'clock position. So it is staged under T3 with N2A. A 70-year-old male patient came with chief complaints of bleeding per rectum, difficulty in passing stools, altered bowel habits, patient looked cachexis on PR examination, hard irregular mass palpitate in the rectum. Uh, MR shows short segment circumferential wall thickening involving the mid and distal part of the rectum. Serosal irregularity is seen uh, with mesorectal fat stranding suggestive of extra serosal spread. Anteriorly, it is showing loss of fat planes with base of the bladder at the psycho prostatic junction. Mesorectal nodes are seen at 3 o'clock position. They are more in number 70A, so it is staged under T4A and 2B. Anteriorly, it is also showing loss of fat planes with the base of the bladder at the prostatic junction. A 54-year-old male patient came with chief complaints of bleeding per rectum since one year, feeling of mass per rectum since one month. A symmetric circumferential wall thickening is noted involving the lower and mid-thirds of the rectum. It is seen extending anteriorly involving the inferior and right lateral portion of posterior part of prostate and right seminal vesicles. Anti-abdominal screening of the same patient revealed multiple T2 hyperintense lesions scattered throughout the liver, likely metastasis. So it is stage number T4B N1 M1. Adenocarcinoma is diagnosed on bio um, biopsy. Conclusion. Rectal carcinoma is a cancer seen in elderly. However, the incidence of this disease is seen increasing in younger adults. Early screening and diagnosis helps in better outcome of the disease. MRA plays a major role in detecting the disease in early stages and defining the local regional spread of disease. Circumferential resection margin is the best predictor of local recurrence. If the tumor appears to be CRM positive, neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by surgery is preferred. A multidisciplinary team consisting of MRI radiologists, colorectal surgeon, medical and radiation oncologists, and pathologists plays a crucial role in overall care in patients with rectal cancer. Thank you.